So you've successfully managed to create a selection in Adobe Photoshop. You've used the marquee tool, the lasso tools, or the magic wand tool to create a very complex and interesting selection. But unfortunately, you've just realized that the selection is actually incorrect, but you've spent a lot of time creating a very complex selection. So is there an easier way to actually add to or subtract from your selection without having to go back and redraw the entire thing? Well, in this video, what we're going to be doing is learning a method that allows you to add to and subtract from a selection using any selection tool that you want. Great, so we have Adobe Photoshop open and as you can see, I've just got a very simple selection. So in my case, it might be slightly easier actually to go ahead and create a completely new selection, but you might not be in that position. You may have just drawn a very complex selection. For example, you may have just masked around the edges of a subject, or you've created a very intricate design using selections. So how can we actually go ahead and edit this selection? Well, luckily this method can actually be used on pretty much all of the selection tools in Photoshop. That covers both the marquee tools, the lasso tools, so the polygonal lasso tool and the lasso tool itself, and then the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool. For the quick selection tool, the buttons that we'll use do look slightly different, but the same principles can too be applied. So the tool that I'm going to be using today is the polygonal lasso tool, but once again, you should be able to use any of these other tools too. So I'm gonna quickly select the polygonal lasso tool, the shortcut for which is L, no matter if you're on Windows or Mac. So the way to be able to actually adapt this tool to be able to add to or subtract from selections is by using these buttons in the top left-hand corner on the parameters here. So here we have these four different buttons and they basically allow us to do four different things with our lasso tool. So the first option that we have is the ability to be able to create a new selection. And that's basically the default tool that we've already been using. The next option along is the ability to add to selection, which is these two white boxes that overlap. So if you select that option, one of the immediate things you'll notice is that the cursor has actually changed. We now also have a plus symbol in the bottom right hand corner of the cursor. And this means we can add to our selection. So anytime we go ahead and draw anywhere on our canvas, the area that we now create will be added to the selection we've already created. If I create a selection that isn't automatically connected to the one we've already drawn, for example, this isolated box on the left here, the selection can also be drawn solo from the original selection that we have, but it is still one entire selection. Now, as you might have guessed, the next option along is the ability to be able to subtract from our selection. So that's this next option here, where we have a white box and then a black box in the foreground. So by selecting that, anytime I now draw on our selection, so for example, I could cut out this entire right hand side here, this is actually going to be subtracted away from our selection. I could actually also use this to cut out a middle part of any of our selections that we already have. So once again, we aren't limited to just cutting away from the outside of our selections. Then the final option that we also have is the ability to be able to intersect with our selections. And this is this final option right here. So just having that selected, any time the two selections that I draw overlap, so for example, in this case, if I draw this box, just before I confirm this, the area that's going to be kept is this middle part here. This is where these two selections will overlap and everything on the outside of this area will actually be deleted. So for example, if I complete this selection, the result is that only this part is kept. If I did this again, for example, I could cut out this middle bit. Then in this case, these edges on the outside here, these two will both be cut away and this part in the middle will be kept like that. So that's just another option to be able to customize our selection even further. So hopefully by using those tools, you'll now be able to customize your selection without actually having to go ahead and redraw the entire thing. If you're interested in learning how you can actually use the brush tool in Adobe Photoshop to draw different things, then do check out the video in the top right hand corner of the end screen. And otherwise, do remember to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the content and do subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a new Photoshop tutorial.